It's free action time, baby, and right off the bat, before we get into this, if you hear cars in the background, I am sorry, I live next to a road. But beyond that, the Drizzle Season trailer has just dropped, and I am very excited to see what's in this, and I don't really want to make reacting to stuff like a common thing, but I'll probably continue to react to Splatoon stuff exclusively, and maybe like a Nintendo Direct or two. But besides that, let's just jump right into it. I'm also really tired. I've been awake for like 40 minutes, maybe. See some industrial complexes. Very... Intriguing. Ooh. What's going on here? Yeah, music. Damn, what a vibe. Crab leg capital. New stage. It looks... Well... Looks like a Splatoon 3 stage, that's for sure. It does look like it might have a few more flanks. The Dread Ringer. Dread Ringer. Oh, I, I love sloshers. I'm such a slosher player. Alright, I'll take a new slosher. Oh, another new stage? Okay, Shipshake Cargo Co. Ooh, Heavy Edit Splatling. That's such an odd name. That looks sick as hell, though. What the heck? Oh, God. That's pretty cool. Adjust gear. Oh, I mean... Oh, you finally can wear caps backwards. Actually, that's pretty cool. That probably should have been in the base game, but that's pretty cool. Turning salmon run stages? Hell yeah. New work attire? <laughs> polka dots! Hell yeah. Polka, <laughs> polka dot outfit. I love that. Ink jets for it. Did I say gold dynamo? Oh my god, people can finally shut up about it. <laughs> No, I agree that it should have been in a long time ago, but it was just like people are getting real annoyed about it, which I which is fair, completely fair. But like, dang. All right, that was a little underwhelming. Uh, definitely think that the last trailer was a little cooler, but uh, there's a car passing by. I definitely think the last trailer was cooler. I I like the sneak peeks into the catalogs. Without that, it does feel a little lackluster. They just kind of went, here's a few new stages. <laughs> but I will say the stages look pretty cool. Now that I'm looking at this, like while it's paused, this is a very tiny stage as per usual for a Splatoon 3 stage. Pain in the but is what we're getting. No, there's not much to, there's not much to do here, is it? You can, oh, I don't have my cursor on. All right, so you see over here, there's a little area you can drop down here. Looks like you can drop down here, drop down here. So there's a few places to drop out of spawn. Hopefully that'll maybe prevent a little bit of spawn camping, but it seems like if you drop down on this side, you're going to be on like, you know, there's going to be uh, some high ground over here and you're going to be down here in the low ground, which tells me that this area kind of sucks ass to drop down into. So you're probably always going to go over here, which means spawn and camping is still going to be a problem. Beyond that, I guess there's these grates up here, which you can take. It looks like you can... From spawn you can go over to this grate down here and you can drop down here or you can drop down the side so actually i didn't notice that to begin with but the grates off the side right here gives you several areas to drop down to you can drop down here drop down there you can walk down the grate and drop down any of these places so honestly i've already changed i i you know i don't know till i play on it but i already think that this might be a moderately okay stage really fucking boring looking like really boring looking holy crap this is super boring looking <laughs> Uh, but beyond that, it looks like the actual layout is okay, if not pretty simple and really tiny, but not the worst stage I've seen. Yeah, okay, look, all right, all right, all right. see, look, you can drop down here, which that actually, this bridge right here actually makes us a little bit better than I thought, though there's another, seems like there's a lot of like slight inclines in this map, which might be super annoying, but it's okay. And then there's the Dread Ringer, which I don't know, what is this weapon based off of? It looks like, oh, it's a, it's a mop bucket. <laughs> dread ringer, dread bringer. It's a mop bucket. Inklings and octolings, they don't like doing their chores or something. They're like, huh, I don't want to do, I don't want to mop the floor. Just grab the damn bucket, put some making in, let's go battle. That's what it feels like. I can't tell what this gimmick is though. Really long range. Looks like it's a two hit. Do we have an overhead view of this map? No, we don't get an overhead view of this map at any point. I do like the flipping gear thing like that. That's really cute. I really like that with the little swirl hanging out. That's adorable. I can't really tell. Yeah, because I don't know where spawn is. Is this spawn over here? 
I can't, I, like, I don't have an indication of where spawn could be because we don't have, you know, the little bases down like the other games, so I don't really know. Because if this is spawn, then I have to assume that your spawn is probably over here to the side. I don't know if you can even see where my cursor is, but over here somewhere. So this map is probably very tiny, but I don't actually know. And then this one looks cool. It's, it looks like, yeah, maybe some sort of, like, gel tip splatling. Heavy splatling, heavy edit splatling. Looks pretty sick, to be honest. And there really isn't much to look at. Yeah, all right, well, that was all of it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will make a more substantial video soon. I'm working on a fashion show, a TF2 and Splatoon crossover, as I kind of similar to what I did before, but a little bit more in depth, and also a few Minecraft things. And with that, I'll see you all next time. Bye.